a scalar potential function is given by phi equals to x squared yz plus y squared z squared determine at point negative 1 positive 1 negative 1 the gradient of the function and then the divergence of the function solution we know that uh, the gradient of the function equals to plus plus so that will be the gradient of the function so we need to calculate for this and insert them in that expression so we shall get the partial derivative of the function with respect to x and then with y and also with respect to z del phi del x equals to now when you partially differentiate this expression with respect to x when you differentiate this x squared you get 2x y z 2x y z because there is no x here this is termed as a constant when you differentiate a constant you get 0 and then del phi del y we now differentiate this with respect to y when you differentiate this y you get 1 1 times z times x squared we get x squared z plus when you differentiate this y you get 2y times z squared so we have 2y z squared and then we differentiate it with respect to z del phi del z equals to now this z is when you differentiate z you get 1 1 times y times x squared we have x squared y plus when you differentiate z squared you get 2z times y squared plus 2z y squared mm -hmm. so once we have we now replacing this replacing that expression so we are saying that uh, the gradient of the function will be equal to now we replace this function with this 2xyz times uh, i then plus we replace this by x squared z plus 2yz squared then we have j then plus now this uh, x squared y plus 2zy squared and then k so this will be the gradient of the function now before we consider this at, at this point we can also find this at uh, the divergence of the function and then we shall find both of them at this point mm -hmm. now we have del now we need to get the divergence of the gradient is there now this 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 uh, diff function is given by this then plus y 
plus k z then you dot we now dot it with this which is uh, which is now this we are dotting with that so it will be dot I can write it this here it will be dot uh, 2x y z then plus x squared z plus 2y z squared j plus x squared y plus 2zy squared this is k like that now here we now we now get the partial derivative of this with respect to 2x of course i and i is 1 so when you differentiate when you differentiate this x you get 1 1 times 2 times y times z will remain with 2yz then plus get the partial derivative of this with respect to y here there is no y so this is a constant when you differentiate a constant you get 0 when you differentiate this y you get 1 1 times 2 times z squared we have 2y no we have 2z squared n plus now get partial derivative of this with respect to z this is 0 this z is 1 when you from this z you get 1 times 2 times y squared we have 2 y squared so we are saying that uh, we factorize out 2 y z plus z squared plus plus y plus y squared now we now need to consider this at point at point negative 1 positive 1, negative 1 this will be equal to we now substitute mm, 2 into yz plus z squared plus y squared this equals to is equals to 2 into now y is 1 z is negative 1 times negative 1 plus negative 1 squared plus y is 1 y squared This will be negative 1 plus 1 then plus 1 this equals to 2 equals to 2 mm -hmm. then del phi remember it's at point at this point negative 1 1 negative 1 now we substitute this this is the, this is negative 1 so we have negative negative 2x 
2 times 1 negative 2 times negative 1 mm. remember this is 1 negative 1 this is 1 this is negative 1 negative and negative will be positive times 1 we have 1 so this is 2 we have 2i then plus this is negative 1 z is negative 1 then y is 1 z is negative negative 1 so negative 1 squared times negative 1 squared you get 1 times this so it's negative 1 here then plus um, this is 2 2 times 1 times negative 1 squared so it will be 2 it will be 2 plus negative 1 so we remain with 1 times j so we have j then here we have uh, this negative 1 dot ne 1 plus 2 dot negative 1 plus 1 so this is this negative 1 uh, negative 1 plus this is this negative 1 squared it will be 1 so this is 1 minus 2 positive 1 minus 2 so we have negative 1 times k so it will be negative k minus k so what we are saying that at point negative 1 positive 1 negative 1 the, the gradient of the vector equals 2i plus j minus k thank you for watching and listening